What it do? What it do? It's your man B Five One Three, and I'm back again. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you've been here before. Listen, I appreciate all of y'all spending time with you guy. And right now, I gotta talk about my Cincinnati Bengals, man, because the Bengals always show their hand. Now, I know it was just reported that the Bengals are expected to franchise T Higgins, or he's already franchise tag. But here's the deal. He's not going to get a long-term extension in Cincinnati. It's just not going to happen. History has shown it time and time again with the Brown family. Now, listen, born in 1993, probably started really watching football in the early 2000s. And I can honestly say through each generation of quarterbacks, they've always kept a number one receiver with their quarterback. Prime example, Carson Palmer, Ocho Cinco. They had Hoosh, RP Chris Henry for a while. Then when it was time to resign, Hoosh Mazzotta was gone. But they kept Ocho, they brought in T.O., and, and, and you know what happened, right? Andy Dalton, A.J. Green, at one point in time, we had A.J. Green, Marvin Jones, Muhammad Sanu, what happened? In one offseason, the Bengals lost Marvin Jones and Muhammad Sanu, but guess who stayed? It was A.J. Green and Andy Dalton. Now, we're in this generation, the Joe Burrow generation, with Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd, T. Higgins. Well, guess what? The Bengals already showed you historically what they do with receivers and quarterbacks, so they're going to be, they're going to go. Tyler Boyd is not going to stay. T. Higgins is not. Also, another thing that the Bengals have shown. Two drafts ago, the Bengals drafted Dax Hill, safety from Michigan, Tyson Anderson, safety from Toledo. Hmm. You know, what was interesting is that the Bengals had two safeties on the roster who were entering the last deal. Von Bell, Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates goes on and becomes one of the best safeties in the NFL. Hell, Madden, he's 97 overall Madden. And I just can't believe the Bengals let a 97 overall player that they drafted walk away. But that's another conversation. What I'm saying is, who did the Bengals draft last year? Two wide receivers, Andre Yoshivas and what's my guy? The punt returner. I can't think of his name. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Purdue dude. Yeah, the kick returner. I like him. He's like Charlie Jones. There he is. That's his name. And we have two pending free agent wide receivers. So the Bengals are going to move on from T. Higgins eventually and Tyler Boyd. It is what it is. And they're going to roll out Andre Yoshi Voss with Jamar Chase and Charlie Jones. I like Charlie Jones as a kick returner. He is a little longer than two as a prospect. I think Yoshi Voss has a lot of potential. He had some great catches in the red zone last year. He has great speed for his size. He has similar size to T. Higgins, but he has more deep speed, more of a deep threat. I think he has a lot of potential. Maybe he can eventually be what T. Higgins was for us. T. Higgins, we might be able to keep him for one more year, but he's going to go get paid. And he's going to go get his bag. Love him as a player, but we just got to come to grips as Bengals fans that he's not going to stay here. Hey, man, it's BSO513. Y'all tell me what y'all think about that. We got more content on the way. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button and the notification bell. Comment below your thoughts so I know what you're thinking, right? And uh, let's get it. I'm out.